welcome to the Nardwick Games Room. This is Naked Dave. And Nardwick. And we're playing some more- what's the fuck this game called? Starlight Vega? Starlight Vega, we're yeah. We're playing some more Starlight Vega. Uh, as we've been calling it, behind the scenes, Booby Saga. Uh, uh, it hasn't gotten to boobies yet, though. So... Uh, I've actually- I'm sure we'll get there. I've actually played ahead a little, and this storyline gets deep. Uh, Alright. Not so, so much on the dark side, but... Cool. You still got a pretty in-depth story. I'm glad there's lots to go for here. Okay, so where were we? We were wandering around the house. We yeah. heard some creepy noises. Don't click yet, because I don't think we read this. Yeah. Uh, she just found that book when they woke up. Yeah, exactly. All right, I know where we're at now. Melody leads the way, holding the book in one hand and her flashlight in the other. As I trail behind, we soon approach a sturdy door. That's strange. I don't remember seeing this door earlier today. Did we walk past it? This door doesn't match any of the others in the house. It's pretty ornate and creepy. The closer we get to the door, the more nervous I feel. My heart pounds so violently that I'm pretty sure Melody can hear it. The fuck is that? Even the beam from the flashlight is shaky and looking at Melody's hands, I can see why. They're trembling almost as much as mine are. We stop outside the study, where the door is still shut. Melody looks at me before glancing at the door. Here we go! She grabs the doorknob and turns it. Here we go! She's Mario all of a sudden. We enter the creepy room. Moonlight filters through the window, but it's still pretty dark. I shine the flashlight around the room. I can't explain why, but something feels off. Could be this weird pedestal thing here? Why do I feel so uneasy? We're not going to actually find anything in here. Are we? I don't know. After all, I don't really believe in that superstitious nonsense. What's that? Ah! Melody shines her light over to the bookshelves. Oh, look at the carvings on those books. And that book looks like it's a hundred, it's hundreds of years old. I'm just gonna ignore the book I'm holding. They all look like they're hundreds of years old. Bottles of Honeywort, Brisbane, Hemlock. These are all used in alchemy. Where's Edward Hemlock? <laughs> <laughs> Full metal on it. Fuck. <clears throat> all these are used in alchemy. What was your grandfather like? I think this one's pot. I don't know. Mom never really talked about him. I shine my flashlight around the room. Wildly, like I'm in a rave. <laughs> There's a podium in front of the desk. Told you it was important. It looks ancient and twisted, but is otherwise uninteresting. It looks normal and straight. It doesn't look twisted at all. Whoa. What does grab my attention, however, is what is resting on top of the podium. What is that? It's so pretty. Melody focused on the dozens of books around the room isn't listening. La, la, la. There's a stone on the podium. Let's see here. Ooh, we get a choice. Pick up the gem. Or don't touch it. I don't hmm. know. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, uh, we're obviously gonna pick it up. I mean, if it was my curiosity, I'd pick it up. Oh, shit. White Hot Light floods the room, stinging my eyes. That's her name, White Hot Light? Well, I guess just Hot Light. She is kind of white, I suppose. <laughs> She's a demon, so I guess it doesn't really count. As it dies, I hear a faint laugh in place of the gem is a woman with long red hair and bright yellow eyes. She has a tail, full figure, and... Horns? Horns is the thing you're questioning after saying she has a tail? Apparently. <sighs> My savior! Ah! The strange horned woman practically jumps on top of me, pulling me into a crushing hug. You freed me! What? What the hell is going on? She picks me up off the floor and starts spinning around. I desperately try to squirm away, but I only manage to make her grip even tighter. 
Oh, I was trapped in that dreadful stone for so long. It was awful. But then you saved me. Oh god, you're going with that voice? Yes. <laughs> Let me go! I just kind of play around with the voice for a few seconds until I find something that works. Get, 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 get away from her, you, you devil woman! She stiffens before releasing me so fast that I fall on the floor with a loud slap. Ow! Ha! <laughs> devil woman! You'd better not be talking to me that way. <laughs> I don't know what noise that would be. Melody, don't! Too late. She hits the horned lady on the head with the book. Hard. Wow! Disgusting little human! Melody! St stay away! You've got some nerve. Take this! Yeah! Ah! Ah! Everyone can yell. <laughs> blinded by the <laughs> light. Wrapped up like a douche. Another runner been the blind. Whatever the words are. <laughs> Who are you? The fuck noises were those? Pain explodes from the back of... Back of my body? Couldn't you just say from my back? I pitch towards the ground. Crumpling on the floor. Melody is next to me, grabbing my arm. My unfocused eyes slowly become aware of the demon girl lying on her back in a ruined bookshelf. Aria! Aria, what's wrong? Can't breathe. <laughs> I'm struggling to draw in enough air. My back hurts so much I don't know how much longer I can. Don't tell me. The stone? Ellipses? Damn it! In an instant, the demon lady launches herself across the room, shattering the window as she jumps through it. Fuck it, I'm gone! The pain in my back seems to dissipate immediately. <laughs> I can breathe again. Just in time to hear the footsteps in the hall, Mom's woken up. Hurry up! Wait, what was her voice? Aria, what's going on in here? And what happened to the window? This horned lady, th this thing, it came out of a stone. A demon attacked us and, uh... Grandpa had this stone, see? Magical spell and then she... Mom's face turns completely red. That's enough. Aria, for the love of God, you're old enough to know better. And Melody, I expected far better from you than Aria. Wow, you expected wrong. <laughs> yeah, seriously. But... Not another peep out of either of you until I get this sorted out. Go to your rooms now. We run back to my room as fast as possible. <laughs> I like this weird little, like, Sonic the, the fat hog thing over here. Yeah. What was that? Oh! You're supposed to be super... Uh, uh, the supernatural expert. What the heck just happened? She's clutching the book close to her chest. Is it glowing? No. Oh, all I remember is I held up the book and it released that light. And then I looked up and both of us were hurt. That pain from before felt like somebody forced hot coals on my back. I don't remember getting hit by anything, and even if I did, why don't I feel anything now? That girl, where did she come from? Where did she go? Where did she come from, Captain I Joe? You don't think Captain I Joe? Diamond Bear, down them go. Where did she come from? Where did she go? Where did she come from, Captain I Joe? This is the one where we sing all the lyrics wrong. Gloria! We get up this little lady! I don't know what her voice is doing right now. Aria! Aria, wake up! It's the demon lady! Huh? Snark? <laughs> <laughs> the sound effects in this are amazing. I love it. I bolt out of bed. How did I even get to sleep last night? Was it all just a dream? What? What? Come quickly! Ah, oh, I'm guessing it wasn't a dream. <laughs> Eek! It's that demon lady. 
Arya, that's no way- <coughs> Arya, that's no way to speak to a guest! What? Mom, she has horns! And a, and a tail! A nice tail, if you know <laughs> what I mean! Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, know what I mean, know what I mean! Say no more, say no more! <laughs> Mom is looking at us as if we're totally crazy! Oops, sorry, didn't want to click in your boobs. <laughs> Pardon me? We don't know each other that well. <laughs> uh, we all knew it would happen at some point, Dave. Boop! Oh, I forgot to read what she said. Hey. I'm a demon lady! It's something about fashion. She snaps and twirls a finger around Mom's head, and Mom begins to hum and skip away. La la la! Anyway, what's with this demon lady business? I do happen to have a name. It's Demon Lady. <laughs> it's Laria. Laria Croft. <laughs> she peers at me expectantly, but I'm completely struck dumb. And your name is? No, don't give her your name. That's how she controls your mind brain. What? You're so annoying and ignorant. You're racist. Kya! Kya! <laughs> mm, please, I mean no harm. In fact, I only came to talk. What should I do? Be rude. No, get away! I don't think so. You have something that belongs to me. Aria, let's get out of here! Aria, hmm? That's a pretty name. <laughs> Eek! Arya, dear, do you remember the stone from earlier? A stone? Does she mean from the podium? I remember touching a purple stone, yes. Well, it just so happens that the stone belongs to me, and I need it back. I don't know where it is. I touched it, and then you showed up. Don't be silly. It's right there. She outstretches her hand, causing a light to emanate from my chest. Oh, God. Whoa! As I thought. Yeah, but no matter. We can remove it quite easily. What do you want the stone for? Harry, you shouldn't trust her. The sooner I get the stone, the sooner I'm out of your hair. Win-win. Well... What does removing it entail? Well, I just need to remove your entire chest cavity and probably decapitate you, but that's no big deal. Oh, and uh, just a pinch of magic. Don't worry. Easy peasy brain squeezy. Without waiting for my reply, she stretches out her hand and chants under her breath. I get the sinking feeling. Ah! Yow! Arr! I buckle over again. It feels like someone just poked a hot iron into my ribs. Lyria is leaning against the railing, trying to hide the fact that she is straining. <sighs> oh boy! <sighs> okay, minor setback. Minor setback? What did you do to her? Shakily, I get back up. The pain wasn't nearly as bad as last time, but it still knocked the wind out of me. Okay. That didn't go quite as planned. Well then, I guess to plan B. I'll have to make you mine. <laughs> what? You're nuts! I mean, just what are you? What, what do you have those freakish horns for? How rude! You've got some nerve speaking to me that way. But why do you have horns? Are you a demon? Well, not technically. I came from another world called Vega. The more ignorant of you humans, the more ignorant of you humans would refer to it as the demon realm. Ah, so you are a demon. Another world. Once again, I struggle free from her grasp. Well, oh, excuse me. Well, why are you in our world? I don't know. You've got to be kidding me. One minute, I'm in my room in Vega, and the next thing you know, I'm trapped in a stone for fifty years. Fifty years. Ah, but I'm so glad the stone got attached. I can't talk today. Attached? You got it <clears> right. I almost said attached. <laughs> ah, but I'm so glad the stone got attached to such a cute girl. The 
this girl's gonna lost a few forgot and lost a few marbles! You really can't speak English today, can you? No! What does the stone do exactly? It's a life stone! I can't be far away from you without feeling repercussions. Same goes for you. Uh, what? What? Stuck together? That's right. There's no way I'm going to be able to keep up with this girl 24/7. There's got to be a way out of this. Well, there might be. The book, this one. She jabs an indignant finger at Melody. <laughs> Attacked me with earlier, obviously held some powerful spells. Perhaps you can take a look, Aria. Melody is better at that sort of stuff than me, so... Yeah, the book could have a spell or something that could get the stone out. It's certainly worth a look. Well, you two can go look for that then. What's wrong? You afraid of the book, Laria? Don't be ridiculous. I simply have business to take care of. Sure you do. She suddenly leans in close, tilting my chin up with her finger. But if there's no spell, rest assured, Arya, I'll make good on my promise. How is that supposed to make me assured? I'm supposed to be helping Melody find books, but I don't even know where to start. And, uh... You know what? This is a good enough place to stop. Yeah, this is a really good place to stop. So if you click that save button. Yeah, make sure we hit that button with the electric yes, save. Yes, you want to overwrite it. There. All right. All right. Yeah, I like where this is going so far. The story's kind of good. I like the music. Yeah, it's, it's got a nice, uh, it's got a nice jazz feeling yeah. to it. So we summon a demon girl. She's stuck to us. Uh, we got to find some way to get rid of this demon girl. Yeah. Uh, story of any of the voices changed. We record. You know, some of our games really sporadically, so we kind of forget what we give people. Yeah, I think we got pretty close with that one. Uh, most of the voices are the same. Yeah. And if not, fuck it. We do what we want. Yeah, we'll do it live. <laughs> if you guys like what you're seeing, make sure you give the button. Something. Something. Like a cookie. Maybe yeah. A piece of cake. This is Naked Dave. And Nautilus. Signing up another episode, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>